Okay, for number one, what I'm gonna do is use a computer algebra system to do these evaluations over here. So let me go to um, Sage. Now, I'm not saying you have to use Sage, but you should learn to use a computer, whatever your preferences are, by the way. So what I'm gonna do is just type reset. Reset just gives me a clean uh, sheet, so to speak. And what I'm gonna do is start defining things. I'm gonna define a function f of x. And I'm gonna assign f of x the value, x cubed minus 27, and then I'm going to divide that by um, x squared minus 9. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is start to evaluate this thing at the values they want me to do. So they want me to do f of 3.0, 0, 0 to 0. And I get this number over here. Now, granted, someone says, well, this number here is different. I'm rounding it off. They asked me to round it off to what? To three decimal places. So that's correct. Then what do you do? Well, they want another number. What number they want? 3.010. What number do we, whoops, sorry about that. I made a mistake. We get that number over there. And again, rounding it off to the nearest three places would be 4.5001. Again, be clear about this. You can round these things off. And, you know, you keep going through it. I'm not going to do each one, by the way, but you have to be able to evaluate each one separately. It isn't like you're doing a bunch of computations. The computer's doing it. For example, the last one, f of 2 point, and how many nines are there? There's 1, 2, 3, 4, right? 1, 2, 3, 4. What are you going to get? You're going to get 4.499. You get the idea. I'm going to round it off to three places. So what? 4.500. That's the nearest uh, third uh, decimal place. The next thing they ask for is, you know, predict a limit. And again, we talked about this thing. If you watch these videos over here, we've talked about this. But why don't you say to do the limit now? So I'm going to do limit, L-I-M-I-T, F of X. And I'm going to say X is approaching, what's it approaching? X is approaching 3. All right. Hit the return. And it, by the way, I'm expecting that Sage is able to do the problem. Now certainly, what does it say? It says 9 over 2. By the way, our predictions from the table is also 9 over 2, but Sage actually did the limit for me. Thank you.